Every good adventure begins with a train ride, right? Hey everyone, welcome to Wheels on the Bike. I'm Agnieszka. I'm on the train and that's why I'm wearing a face cover. Uh, today I am heading on a 3D adventure. So I am now riding through the city of Burlington. I am heading to Hamilton. And in Hamilton, I'm going to join the Hamilton Brentford Rail Trail. Let's try this again. What happened? Well, I'm back at the GO station. Not because I wanted to come back, but because I forgot to tap out my GO card. So I came back to the GO station and uh, tapped out. So, okay, <laughs> let's restart. Let's try this adventure again. I just ran into a closed bridge. So what I need to do is find some sort of a walking bridge. Somebody told me to go find a walking bridge, but what I see is a massive hill. That's what I see. I found it. I found the walking bridge. Oh my God, that was quite the hill. This certainly isn't the scenic route I was hoping for, but you know what? It's gonna get me where I need to go, and that is the most important thing. Okay, this is where I'm meant to be going. No, I don't think this is going to happen. All right, I spoke to some locals, and here's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna take the stairs. I'm going to get back on this road, take a right, take a right, get over the highway, and then ride around and get to the trail. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Let's go. And according to Wahoo, we're back on track. This is awesome. I got my coffee, I got my coffee. Okay, I am at McMaster University. Guys, I found the rail trail. This is it. I mean, the, the entrance or the entry point is a little bit, and you know, without any fanfare, but there is a little placard there where there's a little sign that indicates this in fact is the rail trail. I'm so excited. I love rail trails. This rail trail was placed on my map by Cardiac Cyclist. So if you haven't seen his videos yet, um, I'll link it in the description below. But this is what the entry point to the rail trail looks like. It is well signed. I mean, the signs are here. There you go. Here's the sign. So, let's get on the Hamilton to Brantford Rail Trail. There's a very gentle incline that we started. So we're now at the Dundas Valley Conservation Area. The sign reads, you are entering 12th hundred hectares of urban wilderness with a network of more than 40 kilometers of trails. So I think this is a good opportunity to talk about the bike that I'm riding today and my bike setup. So today I am riding my Kona Sutra touring bike. Everything is stock on it aside from this front rack, which is the Arc Hill front rack. The pedals, pedals didn't come with the bike and I recently changed bar tape to wolf tooth supple bar tape. I think that's what it's called, but I leave, I'll leave all of that in the description. On the bike itself, in terms of storage, in terms of the bags, I have the Arkel bags, um, 35 liters at the back and 25 liter at the front. I also have the Arkel handlebar bag and I recently purchased these little bikepackersfoundry.com little bags. I have no idea what they're called, but I will leave them in the description below. So I typically rode with chalk buckets, just kind of here on the, around the cockpit, but I wanted to support this small Canadian company and I recently purchased these ones. And they're awesome because they're perfect for storing snacks. There you go, my snack pouch. I am incredibly excited about this trip because today uh, when I get to the campsite, I'm going to meet up with my friends and their kids. Additionally, uh, even though this trip is pretty short, it's about 60 kilometers each way, I want to test out what my body can do. 
I mentioned in the previous video that I am getting over an IT band injury and it's just a great way to get back into touring. So I'm going to be spending three days in total on this trip, two nights at the campground. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Look what I found in the middle of a conservation area. It's a little library. Let's take a look at what's inside. Anything good to read? Any recommendations? <laughs> I mean, this is awesome. I should have brought a book to leave next time. Fun fact, I got lost again. <laughs> I think today is all about getting lost and rerouting. <laughs> Only this time I had to climb this massive hill. The downhill was fantastic and now I'm on the other side of the river. Let's hope for no more creative routes and straight to the campsite. I am about four kilometers away from the campsite and I am beat. <laughs> I think all the, um, all the reroutes and all the closed trails and everything have added about 12 kilometers to my route. And I've not cycled this far in a long time because of my knee injury. So uh, I am ready to, uh, to put this bike to, uh, to rest for the day, but four more kilometers to go. I know I can do it, and I'm looking forward to a day off tomorrow. All right, final push. <laughs> 